haven't done one in forever, but if you like look at my channel, I just did one in May, April, May, May. It was May because I had placed my Sephora VIB Rouge order in April and I didn't get it until like almost the second week of May. Ridiculous. So I told you guys I was going to be going on like a little no buy streak, which kind of worked, kind of didn't. I'm really bad at this whole thing, like seriously. I haven't really bought like any high-end makeup in two months, but I have gone to the drugstore and just bought like a couple small things here and there. For instance, I could not help myself when I found this mascara in store. I've heard so much about it and I needed to try it. Like I really wanted to try to wait and do this in this haul, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. I wound up opening it late last week and oh my god. I don't want to say it, but I do, but I really think that this trumps my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, which is really hard for me to say because I have been like in a really long-term relationship with that mascara. But this one here is just amazing, and if you guys haven't heard of it, are y'all living in a box or something? Because you need to try this. I'm not even kidding. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise O. Oh. My god, I can't even say enough good things about this mascara. It is comparable to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Now, I had bought the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and I returned it about three days later. I absolutely freaking hated it. It was a nightmare. No way. Didn't like it. No. I don't have anything good to say about that mascara. I paid $23 for it, and when I returned it to Ulta, the girl was like, oh, is there any reason why you're returning it? And I said, because it sucks. I flat out just say things like that. Like, I have no filter, obviously, if you guys didn't know. And the girl started laughing at the counter. She's like, I hate it too. And I was like, oh, thank God I'm not the only one because all these YouTubers rave about that Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I tried it and I hated it. By the way, I do want to mention right now, I'm thinking about doing a YouTube Made Me Buy It video. If you guys are interested in seeing that, pretty much almost all of my makeup was stuff I saw on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, just comment down below and let me know because I'm kind of like, do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? Do they want to see this? Do they not want to see this? Just let me know. But anyway, back to this mascara. When I saw the wand, I was like, I'm probably going to hate it because I absolutely hated the Better Than Sex one. I just really didn't like that mascara at all, but I was like, you know what, let me just give it a go. I have to try it just to know for a fact that I'm not going to like it. And I'm not kidding, I opened this, I tried it out, and it was like love at first swipe. I, just, I don't even have words, guys. I really, really don't, but I love this mascara. There are tons and tons of videos on this mascara on YouTube, so if you are interested in seeing them, go watch them. Oh my god. It's just an excellent mascara, and you guys know I don't really rave about anything unless it's like, yes. So this is a yes. So yeah, guys, let me explain this whole no-buy situation because it was kind of bullshit. Besides the fact that I bought the mascara, I did buy like a couple things from Milani, but they weren't like expensive things. It's not like I went out and spent like mad money on makeup or anything during my no-buy. Instead of buying makeup, I wound up buying organizing stuff for my makeup. It's like if I can't buy makeup, I need to buy freaking acrylic drawers and organizers and other things. So even though I was trying to be saving money, I didn't really save it after all, if that makes sense. I don't know. I have issues. But enough blabbering already. I know you guys are here to see all of the products that I bought. I did place an order with Sephora and Ulta. There are some new products in here and some stuff that has been on the market for a while that I just haven't gotten to try. So we are going to be looking at a little bit of everything right now. I am really excited. There is two, two or three lip products that I ordered, and I don't have anything on my lips right now, so I figured I would test one of them out on my lips since I never wear lip products. Oh, and I did stop off at CVS the other day because I was trying to go and get another Milani Luminoso blush, but they were all out. I went to like three CVSs looking for that damn blush, but it's so popular, I'm probably just going to have to wind up ordering it online or something. So here's my little CVS bag, and since I couldn't get my hands on the Luminoso, I did get two other blushes. I got Rosa Romantica, Rosa Romantica, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But it just kind of looked like a peachy, bronzy kind of blush. And I thought that that would look really, really pretty for, like, summertime. So I was like, you know what, let me try it. I'm on this blush kick, if you guys didn't know. I think I've said this in, like, three other videos by now. But my blush drawer is pretty soon going to be, like, overflowing. I don't know what the deal is. I've really been into blush right now. 
I don't know. It's a phase. Hopefully it'll go away. And the other one that I got, which I've actually heard quite a bit about this one, is Bella Bellini. A lot of people liked this one before Luminoso became so popular. So I was like, you know what, let me try it. It's a beautiful, it almost reminds me of NARS Orgasm looking at it. Just maybe with a little more gold tinge to it. The other thing I absolutely love about Milani is their packaging. I don't know, it just looks so dainty, pretty, and it's just really fancy looking. I absolutely love it, and it's drugstore, like, hello. The only thing I'm not too crazy about is how it lifts up for the little brush. I don't ever use those. I kind of think it's like a waste of a container, in my opinion, but I know a lot of women probably love that. I just think that they could have thrown more product in there instead of a brush. <laughs> I just don't use it. The next thing that I got, I actually saw Tati here on YouTube talking about how she really enjoyed this, and I was kind of surprised when I saw it in person because on camera this looks a lot bigger than it really is. But this is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray Prime Correct and Set 16 Hour Wear. Now you know me, my makeup is on 15 plus hours a day, sometimes even longer than 18 hours a day, so anything that is going to make my makeup last, is, I'm pretty much sold. And Tati, when she talked about this, made it sound really nice, so I was like, you know what, let me just grab it while it was on sale anyway, it was buy one, get one half off. But just a comparison, I want to show you the size difference. I was kind of surprised, I was like, what in the F? It's such a small ass bottle. So there's 2.03 fluid ounces in the Milani, and then there's four fluid ounces in the Urban Decay one. Now obviously the Urban Decay one is like $30, and this one here I think was like $9.99. I don't even know, honestly. I just tend to grab things not looking at prices, which is really bad. But I just want to spray this and see how the mister is. Oh, look at that. Well that's a fine mist, actually. Oh, it smells like, it has like a perfumey smell to it. It does feel really wet on the face though. I've been using my Kat Von D Locket Setting Spray like a lot lately. I just find that this is amazing actually. I didn't think I'd ever stray away from my Urban Decay, but this I really like a lot. And I just find that my makeup does look like it lasts a little bit longer during the day. I don't know if I can prove that or not, but I feel like it's doing something. But this mist here... It's so fine of a mist that you don't even feel it on your face. Like, I feel like I need to keep on spraying because I'm like, I don't feel any wetness. I don't know what's going on. But this is amazing, seriously. So this one kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay sprayer. Smells good. It does feel nice. I won't lie. But it's not like the Kat Von D Locket setting spray where you don't really feel the mist because it's so fine. Like, does that make sense? I hope you guys are understanding me right now. And the last thing that I got, which never in my wildest dreams would I ever pick something like this but I feel like it's just like a thing right now everybody seems to be wearing like metallic lips and I'm like am I the only one that just doesn't wear any kind of lip so this is the Milani liquid lip a more matte metallic lip creme metallic lip creme so I guess it's not really a liquid lip it's a lip creme whatever this is what I actually want to put on and test out right now. I was thinking about waiting and putting a different thing on, but I think I really want to test this out and see how I like it. Because it's metallic and it's so funky and it's not something that I would ever choose for myself. This is in number 15, The Ultimate. I am going to line my lips with a NYX lip pencil. This is in the color Auburn. Just because I don't know how these lip creams perform and I just don't want it to like bleed all over my face. I am just lightly filling in my lips as well with the pencil. I don't know, that's just my thing. Anytime I line my lips, I have to fill them in just a little bit with the same lip pencil color. I don't know. It's an issue. Okay. It's a little applicator. Very, very flexible. Oh my god, it smells bomb. Oh my god, it smells really good. I wasn't expecting it to have a smell. Yeah, I definitely chose the wrong lip pencil color. <laughs> oh, okay. No, guys. I chose the wrong lip pencil color, most definitely. This is more purple than red. It looks more red in the container, like looking at it from the outside. It is not. It is like purple. Okay, that's just one coat. I am going to go in and just put a little bit more because I feel like I can see like the outer edge of the lip liner and it's really bugging me right now. 
You know what's really weird? I think I like this, and I don't know why, because this is freaking crazy. I have to say, the color builds, like, ridiculously nice. Didn't I say I, like, wasn't trying to make it perfect, and here I am, like, trying to make it perfect? I have issues. But, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks more red in the tube, and then on my lips, it's, like, a deep-ass beautiful plum color. I don't know. I'm actually really, really shocked with how it looks on me. I think the metallic part of it would take some time getting used to. Maybe even the color. I'm not usually used to doing purple lips. I don't think I've ever done purple lips. Normally I'm into like darker reds and like brownie kind of colors when I do a lipstick. So this is very different. It dries super fast. There's no stickiness at all. I don't know, I'm really, really shocked. We're just gonna wear it for the rest of the video and see if it grows on us, shall we? Okay, so that was it for CVS. I feel like that took way too damn long for four products. Let's get into the Sephora box now. So first off, I finally got my rouge. I had to spend like eight more dollars in order to make rouge for the year, so obviously I spent more than eight dollars, but they sent me this little, um, it's got a makeup brush in it, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to keep it. I was thinking about putting it in the giveaway when I reach a 1,000. Oh, good, it's wrapped so I can touch it without getting all gross. It's just a red little makeup brush. I'm not going to use it, so I just kind of figured that I would put it in the giveaway because I have so much stuff and so many things, and I just, I'm not going to use them, so this will be going in the giveaway. Next thing I got, I did open this just so I could smell it because I was really, really nervous that I wasn't going to like it, but... We'll talk about it in a second. But anyway, this is the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance. A whole bunch of YouTubers talk about this and how amazing it smells and just how it's like a total necessity. You need it in your life. And I'm like, all right, I'll just order it and see what happens. So anyway, I did spray it for the first time actually yesterday because I was really impatient and just wanted to spray it all over my body. The freaking bottle is ginormous. Like, there is 8.1 fluid ounces in here. And I don't know how to really describe this, but it smells like um, Bath and Body Works warm vanilla mixed with like maybe coconut or something. I can't really explain it, but that's kind of what it comes off to me. Luckily, this is a light sort of fragrance. It's not overpowering and potent because vanilla gives me a migraine. I cannot wear anything vanilla. It's straight up headache, central, can't do it. So the other morning when I tried this, I was so paranoid that I was going to get a headache throughout the day. I did not. It lasts for a little while. I want to say I could probably still smell it on me for about two hours, and then after that it was like I had never put it on. So obviously it's just a body mist. It is not like a parfum or anything like that, so it's not going to last all day, but it does smell really, really good, so it just... Keep in mind, if you want to spend the money on this, which is freaking outrageous for a goddamn body mist, so let me tell you, it's just not going to last all day. It's going to last a couple hours, which is nice, but you'll have to keep reapplying it. The next two things I got are new Becca highlighters that they just came out with. I had gotten an email saying, like, be the first to order them now, and I'm like, what is this? So I, of course, opened the Sephora app, and I look, and I'm like, Becca came out with new highlighters? And I'm like... What? They didn't, I didn't hear anything about this. Like, I was, like, in shock. I'm like, I need two of them. I think there's, like, five or six different colors. I got two. So, these here are called the new Light Chaser Highlighters. They are for your face and for your eyes, so they can be used as a regular face highlighter or, like, an eyeshadow. And this one here is Pearl Flashes Gold. I was like, ooh, that sounds amazing. They kind of have, like, a dual chrome effect to them. They are much smaller than the regular Becca Highlighter. These do not have anywhere near as much product in them, but the packaging is absolutely adorable. I absolutely love the packaging. I can't get over that right now. Let me just swatch this one. The texture doesn't feel the same either. That's it on my finger. That was a pretty generous swatch, though. So it wasn't like anything. Like, that was a quicker swatch, and this was a generous swatch. So that is them on my hand right there. They're both the same color. I just wanted to show you the generous swatch and the quick swatch. Um, holy shit, that is gold. That is really intense, I have to be honest. 
I think that would look really, really good as a eyeshadow. I don't know about a highlight, maybe with like a fan brush dusted lightly. For me right now, I think it would be a little too much, but that is really interesting. But let's open this next one, and this is Opal Flashes Jade. So that's it in the pan. I'm going to do a generous swatch, and then a quick swatch. Oh my god. Wow. So the first one here is generous, the other one is just a quick swatch. As you can tell, they're really, really pigmented. This one actually felt a little creamier in consistency when I first swatched, and the other one didn't right away. Like, I had to really, like, get the top layer off. But do you see that? That is so cool. It, it looks pink and bluey green. Oh my god, that is so freaking cool. You know what it reminds me of? Max Boom Boom Room eyeshadow. Oh my god. I haven't used that eyeshadow in a while. I need to get on that. But anyway, that is just freaking cool looking. I really, really like that. I don't really know how I'm going to wear these as a highlighter on my face, but I definitely want to try them as like inner corner highlights or eyeshadows. Just a comparison though, like this is a normal Becca packaging and this is the new one. It's much smaller. So regular packaging has 0.25 ounces of product and this one here has 0.23 ounces of product. The next thing that I got, I really don't feel like I need to talk about this. This is just Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I needed a backup because I just ran out this morning, so I had to order this. It's nothing really that special, but I needed it. And then lastly, in the Sephora box, I did want to try the new NARS um, eyeshadow palette. This is the Loaded palette. Everyone talked about this for a while, and I understand that it was sponsored, and that's why they were talking about it, because they were getting paid to talk about it. They just looked like they performed really well, and it looked like the kind of eyeshadows that I would use on a normal basis, so I wanted to order it and see for myself if I was going to like it. So let's open it up and see if Brittany's going to like it. Okay, so that is the packaging. There is a little film on it, but I don't feel like taking it off and dirtying it up right now. I have to say the packaging is a little thick. I don't know how most people would like that. And then there's like a little thing that says, are you a narcissist? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so these are the colors inside. I'm having an issue right now. I don't know. I thought maybe they'd be more like bam in my face. I'm just going to do a quick swatch of these because I want to see. I have to say they're very buttery in consistency. Very, very soft. And I'm just going to put them on my arms so you guys can kind of see them. Really buttery. I have to say, they're very smooth in texture. They don't have names. I hate how things don't have names. I like having names in my packaging. Oh, yes. And I really, really like this one here. That's really pretty. So they swatch really, really well. I will try them on my eyes and see how they perform. <laughs> we will see. But I have to say, right off the bat, just from the swatches, I love this warm, kind of ready brown color, and I really like this one here. I wish they had freaking... Oh, is this names on the back? So how do you know which one's which? Well, I don't know. There's names on the back, but I don't know which ones they go for because they're upside down. Like, I don't know if that's... I don't know. Anyway. And as one of my 100-point perks, I did get the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream because I hear so much about it. If this does not make my ass tight and adorable and cute and sexy, I ain't buying a big one. And then I just got a Josie Marin sample, a Sephora sample, some YSL foundation samples, and a Makeup Forever foundation sample. Okay, that was it for the Sephora part. Now let's move on to Ulta because this haul is taking way too long. I'm not really going to talk about this, but I needed a backup Estee Lauder Fresco, so I ordered it. Duh. I did order one of the new Becca bronzers. This is in the lightest shade I think that they had. Oh my god, what a cute package. I really like, like the dark look for the bronzer. This is in Bali Sands. Wow. It looks a lot like the same color of my Benefit Hula Light bronzer. We'll see. I'll test it out. I ordered the Sleek palette. Sleek just went into Ulta, and when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I have to try it. Only because all of the YouTubers talked about it for, like, the longest time and how awesome it was. So they have multiple highlighting palettes. This is the Solstice one. This is the one everyone was raving about. So I was like, I want to try it. They were really cheap. They were only, like, $14, and I'm having, like, fucking struggle to open this thing. I have to tell you, the packaging is a lot smaller than I thought it was, but... This is it here. I like that package a lot. And then this, 
Always dropping shit. Always dropping shit. It comes with like a little brush, which won't get used. But anyway, so this is it here. It has one cream highlight and then three powder highlights. So this is them here. They don't feel as creamy or as buttery as the Becca highlighters, but they are really quite pigmented for what they are. I don't want to touch the cream one because I probably won't be using it anyway, but I like this a lot. I will test it out. So these two palettes here are the new Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes. I didn't even know that they had eyeshadow palettes. I just happened to see that Dose had gone into Ulta, or well, they're on Ulta's website rather, and I was like, oh, how cute, little eye palettes, I don't know. So I was like, I've never tried anything from Dose Cosmetics, so I was like, you know what, let me try these. I keep calling it Dose Cosmetics, it's Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors. Stop fucking it up. So we have the Baked Browns and the Marvelous Mauves. Now, the Baked Browns online, oh my god, looked amazing. So I really wanted to try them. Okay, the packaging has like really ugly film on it. That's not attractive. That's better. Much better. Really, really nice like long sleek packaging. But this is the colors inside. These look, they look like they're right up my alley. Like I can't even lie. And look at this cute little brush. No, I won't be using that. It's too plasticky for me. Oh my god! Pigmentation Central, are you kidding me? They felt like rubbing your hands in like baking soda. Like you know how baking soda has like that really really nice texture like it's silky? Oh my god, that is so cool. I really am excited to try these. I'm ready to wipe them on my leg, I'm not even kidding. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see these swatches, but I just wound up swatching them on my arm really quick. These are freaking amazing, I want to use these tomorrow. I'm not even kidding. Are you serious? That pigmentation is insane. And on the back, it does have, like, the names and everything, so that's really, really nice. And they're talc-free. Yes! All right, let's open the Marvelous Mauves. Oh, look, it even comes in, like, a purple package. I get it. Baked Browns have, like, a bronzy package. Marvelous Mauves has, like, a pinky purple. Yeah, I'm a little late to the game on these things. But yeah, so that's the packaging. Comes with the same brush inside, obviously, and these are the colors super buttery. I cannot get over the beautiful texture that these have. Oh my god, those are beautiful. I don't know if you guys can really see them, but these are them there. I am running out of room, obviously, on my arm for swatches. We're having a day. This here is just a repurchase. I needed another MAC Giga Black Lash, so I use it just on my bottom lashes, but I've actually been using that L'Oreal Lash Paradise one on my bottom lashes, too. I don't know. That other mascara is just amazing, but this is just a repurchase. And then I had complained, I think it was in my must-have makeup favorites video about how the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow was just never has enough product for the price that they charge. So I'm going to go back to the NYX brow pencil. This is the one in Auburn, just to see if maybe I can take the cheaper alternative route so that I don't have to keep buying the more expensive one because I'm not kidding. I go through brow whizzes so fast, it's ridiculous. And this is only like, what, nine, 9 or $12, something like that, so... This is a lot cheaper than $23. Oh, I thought I removed this from my cart, but I guess I didn't. So this is a Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the color Mondays. So that's the packaging there. It's got like frosty packaging. Oh, look at that applicator. It doesn't really have a smell. It smells like makeup. Um, I just want to see what it looks like though. Oh yeah. That's it. The Britney color all day long, every day. It's like that really nice dark, rich, uh deep reddy brown kind of color that's just what I'm used to wearing when I wear stuff like this so yes I like it I ordered four more NYX glitters because I really really enjoyed the other NYX glitters that I got a few Ulta hauls back so I wanted to get the number 11 which is a beautiful like bluey purpley just really really pretty glitter and then I got this beautiful teal one which is in 03 and I had to get a gold one I don't have any gold glitter anything and I was gonna wind up trying to order one of the Stila liquid glitters in the gold but I was like you know what I like them but I don't like them enough to spend the $24 on another one so I was like I'll just get the NYX gold glitter and use a glitter glue it's the same damn thing that is in 05 and then I wanted like a pinky baby doll kind of one too for when I do like pink looks so 
This one here is in 02 pink. And I think it's time for a new brow gel. My other one is starting to get a little goopy and a little too auburn colored inside. So I just ordered another NYX Control Freak Eye Brow Gel because this just works really good. It's $5.99. Why spend more money on a freaking brow gel? This works amazing and it holds my brows all day long like glue. Now this here, I only own one MAC lipstick and it's in Twig and I barely ever wear it. Uh, I don't know. It was my color a couple years ago. Like I was really liking it and now I don't like it so much. So I wanted to try something different for like nights where I'm feeling really risque. And this one is the Ruby Woo. Everybody talks about this and how beautiful and how it's like the perfect red and it makes your teeth look really white. So I was like, I want to get it. That's it here. Uh, where can I swatch this? Running out of room. That is the swatch there. I don't really think it looks as deep as I was expecting it to. It's really pretty. But I thought maybe in the summer this year I would try to put lipstick on at least every other day so that I can get in the habit of wearing lipstick. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you heard me like freaking out about this because like I'm not going to be working this summer. I'm going to be taking the summer off, I think. So I want to try to wear a lipstick every single day. Even if I don't do my makeup, I want to try to put lipstick on just so that I can get in the habit of seeing myself with color on my lips so that I'll be more you know, willing to wear lipstick more often rather than always just grabbing my chapstick. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm sounding crazy. And then this here is an empty Buxom palette. I wound up ordering six different eyeshadows. So this one here is called Prenup. That's it here. It's just a beautiful green color. And that's it, uh, yeah, swatched on my arm because you can't see it. And now this next one that I'm going to show you I had to get because I watched one of Desi Perkins' eye tutorials and I fell in love with this color and I really tried to imitate it and I just didn't have a color that looked like that so I'm like, I need this color. This one is called Room Service and it's just like this beautiful, what is this? What would you call this? I don't even know. It's like a greeny, minty... Like, it's just so pretty, and it has, like, a shift to it between gold and green. It kind of reminds me a lot of that Becca highlighter I showed earlier, but it's just so pretty. This next one here is a blue color, and it's called Lux Life. I don't really know if it's anything that spectacular. It's kind of like a periwinkle blue. This next one is called Schmooze, and it's another blue eyeshadow. I don't know. I must have been thinking about blue the day I was ordering these. Oh, my God, but that is so freaking cool looking. I have to say, that is extremely intriguing. I really want to use this color. Holy crap, that is really, really pigmented. This next one is called La La Lavish. It's like a really pretty lavender pinky kind of color. There on my finger. My hands are so dirty, I apologize. And that's it above the blue. It's really, really pretty. I don't think I have anything like that, actually. It's really pretty. And then this last one I ordered is called Patent Leather. This one looked really, really cool online. I was like, I need this color. I need it. I don't know why I need it, but I need it. That is so cool. It's like a, a gray purple. I can't even explain that. That's so cool looking. Oh my god. That's going to be insane for an eye look. I can't wait to use this. I'm pretty sure you guys know you buy like the single eyeshadows and then you get the palette to put them in. I do already have a Buxom eye palette, but I don't really use it because I got all really boring ass colors. I don't know why. I was thinking just boring that day, I guess. And now I'm thinking really colorful apparently. So anyway, this is what the palette looks like. You just pull out the side and then you clip the colors in here and then slide it back in here and you're good to go. Buxom also sent me like a small little single eyeshadow to try out. It's in Mink Magnet. It's just like a bronzy brown color, but I think I'm going to put this in the giveaway as well. I'm not going to be using it. And then because I ordered the bronzer from Becca, they sent me the backlight priming filter. I already have the big version of this, so this will be going in the giveaway. And then Estee Lauder for ordering my foundation sent me a Revitalizing and Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. So, yeah. I don't know. I might try this. I'm not sure. And then in here is a NYX bundle. I do not want to open this. I'm going to leave it wrapped up cute. But because I spent so much money on the NYX products, they sent me like a bundle for free. So this is actually going to go in the giveaway as well. Yeah, guys. Uh, I'm a little swatched up here, like ridiculousness. Um, yeah, I have like swatches <laughs> transferring up my arm because <laughs> I keep folding it. But 
I have to say I am extremely impressed with all of the eyeshadows that I ordered. I cannot wait to try them out. And I have to say, looking at that liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors, oh my god, that is so pretty. I'm so glad that all of these other brands are going into Ulta. I'm going to look at my lips really quick and see how it's wearing. It's not working already. I'm not liking it. But this is my problem and why I don't wear lipstick because the inside starts to wear away. And then when you start talking, you have like this line. And I, that just bugs me. I find that so unattractive. I call it butthole lips. <laughs> Do you see? It's not cute. That's not cute. No, that's really the only flaw I'm having with this. Other than that, the color looks really cool. It's very interesting. And it's not flaking or coming off or anything like that. It's still really on there. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. I have to be honest. For Milani, yes. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments about any of the products that I showed in this haul, just please leave them down below for me. Make sure to go and join the Facebook group so you can see all of the updates on a lot of these products. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more haul videos. And don't forget to subscribe because once I get to a thousand subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway. Bye guys, I will see you in my next video.